It's fascinating because, like, Baker Mayfield says, I want to be traded, and the Browns go, nah. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah. And there's nothing uh -huh. Baker can do. There's literally nothing Baker can do. do. There's nothing he can do. Debo Samuel, hey, I want to be traded, and the Niners could. We're not saying they're going to say that. We don't think it's great for business, especially in the future if you plan on working with the person. But they could basically say, nah, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. But Debo can continue to put the pressure on, which I assume is what he will do. And there's a lot. If he wants to come to Indianapolis, we would love it. I mean, we don't have a first-round pick for, you know, because Carson Wentz was an Iron Man and played through a couple, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. couple yeah. injuries that he probably yeah. shouldn't have played through. We don't have a first-round pick. But Debo Samuel would be beloved in a lot of different places. And this is very different than what it used to be. If somebody comes out and says they want to be traded back in the day, prima donna, asshole, don't want them on our team. Nowadays, he wants traded, get them on our team. Bring him, bring him, get bring him. Get him in Indianapolis. Right it is vastly different than what it used to be, Shrakes. I think it's because oh, okay. it's your birthday. I think it's because yeah. it's your birthday. Yeah. yeah. It's my birthday. Uh, you know, I get a lot of texts from old school NFL guys who are like, I mean, we're, he's like, we're the freaking NBA now, these players. And the other part of me is like, good. Let's go. I mean, the NFL makes a lot of money. These teams make a lot of money. The players have a voice, and let's see. I mean, let's put ourselves out there. I mean, for Debo Samuel to put out there, what he's doing simultaneously, he's challenging the 49ers, but he's also putting himself in the crosshairs with some 49ers fans, which is something that players, you go on that limb. Like Cooper Cup yesterday showed up to voluntary workouts. Is like, here I am. I'm here. And like it's like, oh, everyone's warm and cuddly. Debo's doing the opposite. He's like, no, I want to get paid. And, you know, 49ers fans who have been wearing his jersey and love him and all this stuff, you run the risk of those guys, you know, turning being turned off to them, and that's just what that that's what this requires. You have to have the stomach for it. And a lot of these guys don't, and some of these guys do. Well, as soon as you score a touchdown again, everybody's yeah. back. Yeah. Well, yeah. Follow up. Um, this offseason has been the best of all time, by far. So you tell those old NFL heads that don't have to run a daily show to scram. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this, this has been awesome. Shut up. Let's keep it going now. I, I'm happy I don't have to build a team. I'm happy I don't have to run a team. I'm happy that whole thing. But to cover it, it's been fantastic. And we are just eight days away, mm -hmm. Shrakes, from the draft spectacular. Oh, yeah. From last year, magic happening. Two years ago, magic happening. The draft day has become a, oh, shit, something's going to happen day in the most recent future. And in the most recent history, I mean...